Hey everyone, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway and here to bring you uh, the reading for the week starting the 13th of August already. Uh, time is just flying. And how is everyone going? Um, we have just gone through the third eclipse for this eclipse season, which was on Saturday the 11th for everyone. And here in Melbourne, Australia, it was at night. Um, I know for me personally, it's really been a mixture of emotions and feelings leading up to it. And even on the day, and I know for myself, uh, it has been such an intense and such a powerful uh, period of time since really the beginning of July this year. And I am about or I am going through major changes within my business and bringing to you really my life's work which is what makes my heart sing and bringing it to you in a way that I can I can teach others and show you and uh, help you understand where I am coming from with what I do bring through so very exciting times ahead and it's really head down bum up for me so really this past since as i said beginning of july i've really found that i've had to let go of so many things but that do not honor me anymore they do not serve me they don't serve me or honor me on a, a business or a personal level and it's okay it's been hard and some of it's been really shoved in my face to say okay enough we don't need you don't need this in your life it's time to change it's time to shift and so much of that is happening even in terms of uh, in terms of my exercise and going in within a little bit more for me um, I've even started kundalini yoga which I didn't think I'd like but I actually don't mind <laughs> most of the time and also concentrating on diet although that's still pretty hard for me because I love to eat and I find food so nurturing as so many of us do but I'm getting there slowly but surely and I'm feeling really great in myself making new new friends finding more of my soul family and I'm about to take a big trip to Egypt in October which I cannot wait for it is just all exciting times it is absolutely amazing really and I feel great about everything and even finding that my own work is starting to come up to another level and I've been uh, I've actually been working a lot with my dad and I'd like to put up a video later to show you about the sort of thing that I've been doing with him and I've been working with a few others so I am available anytime for integrated healing work as well as creating personalized vibrational essences for particular issues that you may have and you can contact me via my website or email whichever it may be so let's see what comes through for this week I'm feeling the energies like with before I even read the cards or, or, or choose the cards I'm just finding I'm feeling more of a plateau so I'm feeling that it's really we're at a time of new beginnings like it's really starting it's really happening and it's like it's it, it's it's like we've been given a lot more clarity for those who've really done the work on themselves with on a personal level and on their business level because it will affect both there I, I just feel there's so much clarity come in so many aha moments and it's like the downloads I've been getting have been immense and really I love I love what I do get so I feel that it's new beginnings for so many there's going to be a lot more clarity there's going to be um, you know the pathways ahead are going to be a lot more open with very you know with less obstacles and I think though or from right that when we're working with uh, energies of the eclipse season 
you usually got to wait a couple of weeks for those energies as well to settle plus i think it's like we've got six planets in retrograde at the moment and i don't honestly understand each and every one of these that are retrograde i just know that you know there's always something there we're always being tested and i think it just makes the testing that little bit more so um let's start pulling some cards so the first card that's just come through is the octahedron okay second card to come through is the hexahedron and will cube which is the orange so we're working sacral working the nurturing aspect and both of these are nurturing because it's heart and so it's the heart sacral area bringing in the feminine aspects which are beautiful bloody love this card and this is the 528 hertz and i think i'm going to leave it at that to what um to what needs to come through for the week so I just put these cards to the side so let's look at these cards so this week it's really about coming uh, from the heart space it's the nurturing aspect of ourselves and the more we nurture the more we give you know it's it's then what we can also put out for others so really nurturing you giving yourself lots of self-love and it may even be that you need to uh, you know make a little goal for yourself and say okay so from now on I need to uh, nurture myself I'm going to maybe have a half a half an hour or an hour massage every week or I'm going to get my nails done or I'm going to make sure I go for a walk to the beach or whatever it, whatever it is that makes you feel good about you that brings in that nurturing for you it might even be that you set aside every day to to read a book of choice or to watch a movie of choice so there's so many options but really getting into that heart space and as we're doing that we are still on the nurturing aspect when we're giving ourselves the self-love and the self-nurturing we're then working it doesn't matter whether you're male or female we're working with the nurturing aspect um, and when we're working with cube we're working with foundations but in this case it's the foundations but we're bringing them through because we're bringing them through from the birthing at center which is our sacral center so we're really working um, with nurturing and creating aspects of ourselves so where we may be recreating we're, we're reinventing parts of ourselves or part you know a big part of our business and I know that's what I'm doing now it's not that it's it's going to be new in many ways but the 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 knowledge the wisdom that is there I've already got it it's already been brought through for me and I've brought it through in my work but it's about how do I now put it all together to be able to share and to create a beautiful program from it for all to um, to for to be accessible to everyone so really really lovely these cards go perfectly together hand in hand and then the third card to come through is solfeggio frequency 528 and working uh, with some guys the other week um, actually this card was pulled for me and he's like what is this all about and the 528 hertz it's it actually when we compound the number 5 plus 2 plus 8 if we compound it to a single digit it is actually a 6 so a very much beautiful heart-centered uh, vibration but the 528 Hertz in this case is all about miracles and transformation we are going through a huge transformation on a cellular level really each and every one of us are the ones that are very consciously aware and starting to be consciously awakened to it all are going to find it easier it is going to happen faster for those who aren't so much it's going to be a little bit harder and and more tedious and there's probably going to be a lot more roadblocks and everything else for them but eventually it will come through um, if they stop the fighting and and, and get the aha moment so this is about um, miracles and it's about bringing it's manifesting our dreams our desires and amazing stuff is here um, to to come about for us so that's what this card is meaning in this particular reading so really positive really beautiful energies around this week and 
really work you know go into your heart work on that self-love that self-nurturing the self-creations so th and, and it's time to birth those amazing ideas and concepts that you have and you are willing to bring through because as we can see with software Jeff frequency 528 it's the the, mini, the miracles the transformations are there for us it's there for the taking so have an amazing week this week and if there are any questions please don't ever hesitate to send me an email contact me through my website I'm available I am available for healing work um, I have amazing products and tools that I have to share and divine crystals as well so you can always reach me on www.phoenixgateway.com.au and I really look forward to speaking with you soon okay bye